All right, let's sing uh, Onward Christian Soldiers. Okay. Here we go. Onward Christian Soldiers, marching as to war, with the cross of Jesus going on before. Christ the Royal Master leads again. I just wanted to say just a couple of things about baptism, just as a reminder. So thank God for the four people that are willing to be baptized today. Take that step of obedience. You know, just a reminder that baptism does not save. Baptism does not wash away sins. The Bible says it's not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but it's the answer of a good conscience toward God. So we're not washed of our sins by baptism. Baptism is not a requirement to be salvation, to be saved. The Bible is very clear. It says. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. You know, the Bible says, To him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly. His faith is counted for righteousness. So our baptism is not counted for righteousness. It is purely a step of obedience that we take because we are saved. Um, and the Bible says it's an answer of a good conscience toward God. So it's not the putting away of the filth of the flesh. It's the answer of a good conscience toward God. So it's something that we do once we are saved, once we are a believer. So some of us here come from maybe a Catholic background or a Protestant background or an Orthodox background, and you might have been, quote, unquote, <coughs> baptized as a child. Now, I know that call, they call that baptism, but that is not really baptism because children do not yet believe. If they haven't yet believed, they haven't been baptized. We've all taken a bath. We've all gone for a swim. It doesn't mean we were baptized. We are only baptized once. We are baptized by immersion after we are a believer. So the last thing I just wanted to say about baptism is what it represents. It represents the death and the burial and resurrection.
resurrection. So that's why we are immersed in baptism. We're not sprinkled with baptism. We don't pour water because the Bible says we are planted in the likeness of his death and we shall be raised in the likeness of his resurrection. So that's what baptism represents. So I just wanted to remind us of that today before we uh, baptize these uh, four precious people. And um, so I guess we'll, we'll do that now. So uh, maybe I'll get uh, Sebastian to walk with me. brother in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy ghost amen buried in the likeness of his death <laughs> raised in the likeness of his resurrection <laughs> on the Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart? Yes. All right. Katerina, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Buried in the likeness of his death. Raised in the likeness of his resurrection. Jesus Christ with all your heart? Yes. All right. I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Buried in the likeness of his death. Raised in the likeness of his resurrection. Okay, before we uh, break, why don't we just pray for guys that just got baptized. All right, let's pray. All right, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for today. Thank you that we're able to baptize uh, Sebastian, Katerina, Andrew, and Anthony. And we just pray, Lord, that uh, this moment brings glory to you. And we love you, Lord. We pray that you would help these believers to continue to grow, uh, walk in the way you'd want them to walk, and uh, do great things for you. We love you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.